<laughs> Hi. Hello, ma'am. Thank you for everything today. Woman. I don't e I, I don't even know what to say to you. This I, I've been doing this with you since I got off the plane this morning. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm filled up because of all the enthusiasm and the passion and because of how amazing you are. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how you do this every day. I don't know how you do this every day and have been doing it every day for the past 10 years. Like you have been pouring yourself into the people with all this generosity of spirit, with all this service for 10 years. So I'm gonna tell you this. Um, first of all, it's way too kind, but- <laughs> It's truth. So yesterday I, I get home, we did Columbus and LaGrange and Talbotton, which is this tiny town in Southwest Georgia. Okay. We did Peachtree City. That it's, one I know. Of all the places yeah. you said that one, I recognized. <laughs> <laughs> so we get back and we pull in my driveway. I get out of the car. I go inside and I'm just, I'm tired. I'm ready yeah. to go to bed. All I can think about is there's an episode of TV I can watch because I watch The Great British Baking Show and it's waiting for me. <laughs> but I walk in and my dad is sitting on the couch and I haven't seen my father since he started chemo a couple of days ago. I've been on the road. Oh. And so oh, I look at my dad. I'm so sorry. Thank you. No, he just, he was just diagnosed with, stage 1b stomach cancer he was able to go in um, because we have health insurance and i've made sure for the past 20 years i've actually paid for my parents health insurance because mm. it was vital to me that they never ever lack for health insurance and so he's sitting on the couch and i haven't seen him since he went in for his chemo and he smiles at me i'm like how you doing daddy he said well i got cancer but i'm the healthiest person in this house what <laughs> so my parents came to stay with me a couple of that last year and my they raised my niece who they've had since she was five days old so she's 16 now mm. and i look at him i'm like what do you mean turns out my mother has pneumonia oh god and faith has the flu oh god and so <laughs> i look at him and he was like i'm gonna go check on your mom I'm like you stay where you are daddy i take off my jacket and i head back to my parents room which used to be my bedroom i was very proud of my bedroom i'm not seeing my bed i get to go visit <laughs> so i go back there and my mom she has to be on oxygen because she's had some recent health issues. I see her and Faith is stretched out on the bed. And that's like, the 16 that's year the old. 16 year old uh -huh. who reverts to five. Although, no, she's amazing. She really is. <laughs> but she's sick. So she's sick. Yeah. And so she's like, Aunt Stacy. I'm like, Faith, we gotta get you upstairs. I'm like, you're too big for me to carry. She's five, seven. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. too big. <laughs> so I get her upstairs, get her in the bed. She has a blanket that she has to have. I get downstairs, Aww. my mother, want something that she's not supposed to eat. My dad's trying to have sneak cake that he's not allowed to have. And I'm thinking, God, I just want to watch the Great British Baking Show. But then I thought, the grace of my life is that I am here for my mom and my dad. I am here for my niece. Mm. I have the privilege of being here for them when they're sick. And I think about all the Georgians who are exhausted. Yeah. But when they walk in the house, Mm. They're by themselves or they are the person. Mm. There's no one who says, let me go get you a cup of tea. There's no one who says, you you can take a second. I want that for Georgia. I want that for people who don't know they deserve it. I've watched my parents scrimp and save and sacrifice. And they created a space that gave me this moment. And everything in me wants to create this moment for everyone else. You can't fix cancer. I can't save 16 year olds from having to take NyQuil that they don't want to take. <laughs> I can't make a grown man put down a piece of cake because his diabetes is competing with his cancer. Mm. But I can get them Medicaid. Mm. I can get them affordable housing. I can make sure they can walk into somewhere. I can make sure that 16 year old when she gets better can go to the college she gets into and afford to be there. And that for me is why this election matters. It is, this isn't politics. It's not even policy. This is people. Mm. And what I appreciate about you, what I appreciate about everybody who is pouring into this moment is that they know it too. They may never meet me in person and I may never get to shake their hand or more importantly, hold their hand. Mm. But with their vote, 
they are promising each other that we're going to create that space and we're going to give them that grace. And that to me is the most energizing thing that can happen. So I can get up the next day. My voice may be gone, <laughs> but my heart is always in this. And that is, that's the grace of democracy. That's the grace of just being able to do. And so that's why I'm here. It's so amazing to watch you push through while losing your voice. <laughs> Because what I know you're doing is making sure that everybody else has theirs, that they have their voice because you. you're out here fighting for them. Thank you. It's really extraordinary to watch. It's really so special. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I know you've got a plane to catch. I do, okay. but I'm really happy I got to be here with you. And Look. you and your dad and your niece. And your mom will Thank all be you. in my prayers. Thank you. The whole state of Georgia will be in my prayers. Well, Carrie Washington, you're always in my heart mm. and my prayers and my thoughts. And thank you for taking the time because, you know, be ready. So now I know coming from the theater, you just need like to gargle. Yes, ma'am. Salt and some water. Some, some salt tea and with honey and lemon. Yes, ma'am. And some votes. <laughs> <laughs> what you said, votes. <laughs> Let's get it done. Okay. Thank you, Love my you. friend. Love you, love you, love you so much.